Hey folks, my name is Bob Maindell, owner of Holding the Line Guide Service located on the eastern edge of the Texas Hill Country. It's the winter of 2023 and I wanted to put together a series of three videos on how to fish the bladed hazy eye slab. There's three techniques I use during the winter. One is called snap jigging, one is called slow smoking, and the other is called easing going to do one video on each one of those. All right, in this video, we're going to cover the easing tactic. Just quickly summarized, easing is allowing your lure to fall all the way to the bottom, getting a taut line between your rod tip and the lure still resting on the bottom, and then slowly and smoothly raising it upwards to as high overhead as you can reach. So as we look at the reel here, I'm going to let that lure down. Now we're gonna pan over to the rod's tip. Okay, that lure is on the bottom. I can tell because I have slack between the tip and the surface. I'm gonna close my bail by hand, lower my rod tip and get the line taut right there right there my tip is flat right there it's flexed taut flexed taut flexed when it flexes that means i'm about to lift that lure up off the bottom all right this is where the easing tactic begins all right so all we're going to do is a slow steady raise from that point just a few inches off the water to as high up overhead as my aging shoulders will allow me to lift. All right, so we're gonna back up and get a shot of my entire body here so you can see this well. All right, here we go with the first full lift. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna let it free fall till it hits the bottom and my line goes slack. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and let it free fall. Okay, now, you may wonder, why am I counting? That's so that I can keep the speed of my rise consistent. The last thing you wanna do is figure out the speed that those fish want the bait, and then not be able to come back again and repeat that speed because you didn't pay attention to the speed you were using when you were successful. So I literally count out loud and oftentimes in the winter find that a full raise performed in a five to six second span is just about right. Here we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll drop it back down again. One last time. One, two, three, four, five, six. The two most common mistakes people make while using this technique are starting their lift fast and then ending it slow or starting it slow and ending it fast and not keeping a steady rate of rise throughout the entire lift, okay? The second mistake I see people make is failing to close their bail by hand. If your bail is open and you close that by hand, you can very easily unintentionally lift your lure up off the bottom. Okay, folks, so what I've just explained here is the easing tactic. If you've already watched the video about the slow smoking tactic, this is just a little bit different in a few uh, regards. First, this is a little bit slower than the slow smoking tactic. And vertically speaking, this tactic does not cover as much water vertically from the bottom upwards as the slow smoking tactic does. This tactic is uh, typically put to use when the water temperature is below 55 degrees and the fish are not enthusiastic. There's no birds. I do not see the fish up off the bottom patrolling after shad. They're locked down to the bottom and the fishing is, is just so-so or kind of tough. This is a good go-to tactic while that uh, water temperature is still above 50 degrees. Okay, gonna take just a few more seconds here to show you 
For those of you who uh, run Garmin LiveScope, what this is gonna look like, the easing tactic on LiveScope. So uh, you can see my lure is in line with the zero mark at the top of the uh, screen. It's falling down. And as I do that slow lift, one, two, three, four, five, six, that lure just rises really nice and smoothly off the bottom. I let it free fall, it contacts the bottom. At that point, my rod tip is just a few inches off the water surface. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six. When the fish chase after you, you cannot speed up, slow down, pause or hesitate. You have to just keep right on going. Now, sometimes the fish will take their sweet time in catching up with your bait and you will about run out of arm. You just can't lift any further. As you see the possibility of that about to occur, you want to reach up with your reeling hand and continue the lift by reeling at the same speed. That is an atypical situation. Most of these fish are going to follow it up off the bottom and catch up with it quickly enough that you're going to be able to set the hook before you get to the very top of your rise. Uh, one very good tip about this is using a long rod. I use an eight foot rod for this tactic so that um, I have an extremely long lift during this five to six second lift sequence. All right, want to talk a little bit bit about the bladed hazy eye slab. First off, the blade itself. If you've not used the MAL lure for white bass in the summer months, this may not make as much sense to you, but there is absolutely something about that spinning blade that draws white bass when they will otherwise not be interested uh, in anything else. So we've tried to incorporate a spinning blade into a slab so that that shine and flash and vibration is present even in a, a bait appropriate for the winter months. Um, that is really the heart of this bladed hazy eye slab. That is attached with a swivel so the package is small and tangle free. All right, let's move our way on up. A quality VMC treble hook. On the smaller 3 8 ounce products, we use a number six treble. And on the three quarter ounce and five eighths ounce products, we're using a number five treble. Moving on up, the split ring itself. That is a stainless steel quality VMC split ring rated at 88 pound test, regardless of what size of uh, slab you purchase. Next, the body itself. Notice it's shad shaped, not minnow shaped. We've placed a false eye very near the treble hook. That is the focal point. That's what draws the most attention from predators. And we've chosen to use the base color, uh, provide the base color by using powder coat. Never, never using paint or decals because they simply will not last. All right, these are both poured and powder coated and assembled in Texas. Moving our way up towards the top, the snap. The snap is rated at 94 pound tests, also produced by VMC. The snap does a couple of things for you. It allows for freedom of movement, a wag left and right on the rise, and a shimmy or flutter on the fall. It also uh, makes for very quick upsizing and downsizing of your lure um, because of ease of lure changes with the snap feature. And then finally, there is the stinger hook. Um, I don't know of any other uh, white bass specific slabs that incorporate stinger hooks. They may be out there, but I will tell you that that absolutely puts more fish in the boat. And the colder the water is, the more true that statement is I just made. Uh, we're using a single quality VMC hook there. There is a lightweight braided loop that allows that stinger hook to be vacuumed rearward when a fish opens its mouth, flares its gills, and sucks water to try to vacuum a prey fish, or in this case, a slab, into its mouth, that will often be the very first thing that makes contact. Um, of the three slabbing techniques I've described, you're gonna see your snap jigging tactic will produce the most fish on the uh, 
on the stinger hook itself. All right, good luck with that technique.